All right, so what's up, guys? And welcome to the first update of Fortnite's brand new season, Fortnite Season X. They really weren't kidding when they said there was going to be a lot of changes come this season. I mean, there's been changes every single day throughout the map. We just haven't seen them, but there has been changes, very minor changes. And then the first week comes and we have a massive, huge change to possibly one of the most populated areas in the map, Neo Tilted, which used to be Tilted Towers and now is Tilted Town. And I'm getting tilted by all these damn changes. <laughs> Tilted Town has been confirmed to be what Tilted Towers used to be many, 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 many years ago. It is safe to say that these brand new rift zones, which we're probably going to be seeing more of the rift beacons throughout the map as more POIs change. It is safe to say that this is some sort of experiment that's been occurring, possibly by the visitor himself. I believe he is from the future and something's going on. Something messed up the timelines here that he's trying to either go back in time or I don't know what the he's trying to do really this season is super confusing okay and i'm pretty sure i'm not the only one we need more explanations here but we're only a week into the season and obviously this is when we get literally brain fuck and we don't know anything of what's really going on we just assume a lot of stuff but we will be seeing more rift zones we're going to be seeing more pois getting changed whether they're going back in time or further into the future i don't know every time we have a major map update i like to explore from the ins and outs of the entire poi so in today's video we are going to be doing a video on something else but for this video in particular we are also going to be exploring the brand new tilted town a new feature with tilted town is that one you cannot build and two you cannot harvest anything at all and that's because it is inside the rift zone and in doing so would mess with the time and space continuum <laughs> it has something to do with the rift zone and it being inside this you know bubble barrier there are also some exclusive weapons that spawn only in tilted town and that is the double barreled shotgun epic and legendary variants the six shooter the hunting rifle and the infantry rifle So here we are spawning into the map and we get a first look at the brand new rift zone as you can see it is a massive barrier nowhere near as high as well there's actually the rift is still above it which is really interesting tilted town we are about to enter oh what what the hell <laughs> wait a minute dude that's freaking cool so Oh my god. So yeah, you cannot break and you cannot build. You cannot you literally can't build in here. This is going to be insane. It even looks different. Like the colors are a little bit more, I don't know, toned down. So as you can see right there, it says no building and no harvesting. That's pretty much the same thing that we saw in the trailer itself. We're going to go here first really quickly. There's also some of these uh ballers in here, which is quite interesting. We can of course, we can pick up stuff. That's nothing new, but the fact that we cannot build is pretty crazy. For some reason, I cannot, can't open that chest. I don't, I don't know if that's, I don't know what that's all about. But okay, here are some of the unvaulted weapons that are in this mode only. Of course, we could shoot them, but only shoot them and nothing else, and obviously kill the other players. But that is super cool. Like this is like a completely different place. Obviously, this is many, many years, probably 100, 200 years before Tilted Town itself. Let's go above the clock tower. As you can see, it's a lot more open. It's still kind of like under construction because you can see the, the clock. It's just hanging there. It's just sitting there. So if there were to be like some like category five hurricane, good luck. You're done. If we fall down, we're going to take that good damage. Unfortunately, that sucks. But hey, life isn't fair. Welcome to Fortnite. There's definitely a lot less buildings and, and, and just, you know, f fabs or f what do you guys call them? Fabs for prefabs. All right. So in the first house, we have... Uh, Okay, this is interesting. Is there anything like the second floor below basement or no, there's not. So, of course, if there is like a hidden room in, in one of these houses, I don't think we're going to be able to access it just because we we cannot break anything. It's kind of funny because this is kind of like the whole thing that, that they say in movies. If you were to go back to the past, we're going to do like a full circle around here anyways. This is a little farm, little scarecrow. This is really cool, man. This reminds me of like Red Dead Redemption and shit. This is awesome. So it's kind of like what they say in the movies when you go into the movies. If you go back in time, please do not touch anything because if you touch anything, you can alter the future. So probably that's like the whole idea behind the fact that you cannot build, you cannot break, and you can't do much really in this POI except just shoot your weapon and kill people, which also does sound pretty crazy. Maybe that's what it is. That's pretty cool. What's funny is that, that, that this actually looks a lot like Shifty Shafts. I honestly have no idea if this is the reason why Shifty Shafts is the way it is, but this looks 
very, very similar to Shifty Shafts. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. You can tell these people were not living in the modern day future. Holy crap. Look at the stairs. Put your planks is stuck on a wall. That is awesome. I believe that's the sheriff's office there. Supposedly, this guy is wanted. Now, that makes no sense. Why is this guy wanted if this POI is supposed to be back in the past? Well, then again, he is a pirate. So maybe, maybe he's from the past as well. I don't know. A lot of questions are running through my mind right now. Just want to see all of these. Oh, look at this. A jail. Ah, this is awesome. That's really, really interesting. What if this man is from the past? What if the pirate is literally from the past as well? And we didn't know it. A lot of really interesting structures here, though. Like, this is really cool. This is pretty much a freaking jail. They'll probably throw you in here and put you to fight with your other sailmates. Or maybe this is where you work out and get some exercise and then go back to your jail cell. Who knows? I don't know. I didn't live back in the past and I sure as hell never been to prison. So, excuse me. Yeah, this definitely looks a lot like, uh... Like shifty shafts, which is actually pretty cool. I like it. I like this more than Neil Tilted. I, I I do. I was a fan of the futuristic skins, but I've never really been a fan of like. I mean, it was cool for a couple of like weeks, and then it just got boring. Like I wanted Tilted Town back. I mean, Tilted Towers back. Even though I never really went there because I was getting my ass kicked. Even this. This is pretty sweet. This is this is nice. There is a lot, a lot of stuff going on. For there not being so many buildings, there is a lot of stuff going on. As you can see here, I'm going to go to the front now. This is a hotel. This is a store. Okay, let's go into the store. We haven't gone into the store. This is so freaking cool. Believe it or not, it's actually really nice to have, like, something where you cannot destroy it. It's kind of like if the end game ends here, the plays are completely different because you can't build. So it's kind of like one of those things. Well, if I don't have materials by the end of the game, I really don't, don't get affected by it because, you know, obviously, if you're in this part of the map, which is really cool. It's kind of adding a little bit of a different element of surprise to the game, I guess you can say. Okay, so this is the other side of the map, the other side of the town. This has got to be the sheriff's office. Yep, it's this one, in fact. But it's the one with the wanted sign. Dude, I really like this. I think this is so cool. And then we have another little cabin back here that I don't really know what it is, but let's go check it out. It looks like part of the, uh, oh, nice. Oh, so they were mining here. Yeah, this definitely does have something to do with Shifty Shaft because this is pretty much what Shifty Shaft has. I mean, you can tell in Shifty Shaft that people are mining or trying to mine. It's something a little bit further away from Tilted Towers. So it's kind of like a different part of the map. So you never really put, you know, two and two together. All right. So this is the end of uh, Tilted Town. And this is what the town looks like. Um, as you can see, we do have that huge barrier above it. The clock tower is still being built. I'm not sure if it's in the same exact location. It might actually be. But, you know, some of the buildings are, you know, turned around and put different places. So it does get a little tricky to kind of like know where you're at exactly in comparison to the previous uh, POIs of Tilted. But uh, this is a gunsmith store. I don't think we came in here. Oh, okay. That's it? <laughs> oh my god, this is crazy. This is so cool. We were on the second floor. We just never went to the first floor. And this is pretty much a little farm, a little stable that we got here, which is nice. I like how Fortnite's going to uh to the whole, you know, changing prefabs and stuff. So like I remember back in the days every POI had pretty much the same sort of house style. Now there's so many different different types and variants of houses and stuff that everything just looks unique, you know, per POI, if, if that makes any sense. See, this little house back here, we didn't come here. I don't think we came here. This is something else. This is by the, uh, by the, uh, revive bus. A respawn van, I guess you can say. It's got a basement area. Let's check this out. Okay, this is where they buried people when they were dead. Okay, this is freaky. Not liking this so much. I believe we have a second floor. How do we get there? I would assume there's got to be some sort of stairs. Yep. Yeah, this is probably like one of those... Uh, 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 yeah, as you can see here, these are... <laughs> this is creepy, man. All right, let's go. This is the respawn van. We have a random floating llama here. As you can see, yep. Wow. All right. These are three vending machines here, which are casually just chilling here, which... It's very, very crucial. You can land right here and have three vending machines. That is amazing. Whether they're going to spawn there the whole time, I don't think so. But it's really interesting. There are dead people under Tilted Towers and Neo Tilted, just so you guys know. As you can see, these people have been killed and murdered and buried. Fortnite is not so rated PG as you thought, huh? Yeah, a bunch of murderers. So this right here is a little cabin. It's an extra little cabin with another chest. This is it. And by the way, the clock tower is... I don't know if it's in the same spot, honestly. I, I'm, I'm losing my mind. But this is the entire Tilted Town. We have explored it from left to right, went circles around it. I really like it, dude. I think it's awesome. I think it's a cool change. I really enjoy it. I dig it. I really don't know what's going to be 
the outcome of all of this what happens when that rift zone ends it's tilted gonna go back to tilted towers neo tilted or is it gonna stay like this i would really like for it to stay like this like i think it's a cool addition maybe we'll have another variation of tilted towers i just never personally thought we were gonna get three variations of tilted towers because tilted towers was like so beloved by everybody so it's kind of a wild move tilted town it's pretty cool i like it i like the fact that they changed it up a little bit i don't know what's gonna happen with it it's really really interesting and i also don't know if this barrier has anything to do with the reason behind it not getting destroyed by the rocket back in like season five when it got launched i believe one of you guys pointed that out in the comments and that was very very interesting because the rocket did aim for tilted and it never got destroyed it just went into like some sort of rift or something i don't know if this barrier was protecting it like maybe this barrier it's uh non-existent right now but it's still there you just can't see it to the naked eye i don't know what the deal is but it's it's just all very interesting how fortnite and epic games are going about all of this and i cannot wait to see how they reveal what this is all really about let me know what you guys think about tilted town is it something you enjoy do you think this is a good poi the fact that it's no building i, I think it makes it cool i don't know how people are going to receive it but it is pretty cool anyways i'm going to end it here you guys be the judge let me know in the comments thoughts opinions tilted town or neo tilted which one do you like better in the comments below thank you so much for watching i'll be back later with some more gameplay and as always if you enjoyed it leave it a like and catch you later